once you're done outlining your lion. If you want to color that triangle nose black skin, you can. Or if you want to paint that more of a brown, you'd be able to do, to do that. We have watercolor. And you're going to get brown and yellow and orange today. Remember, watercolors need water to work. I'm kind of working on the edge of my paper because I know I'm going to cut my lion out. So that is a really nice brown. If you want that brown to be lighter, you would just bring water and move it around to get it lighter. If you want that brown to be darker, not as much water. Look how dark that got. So I'm going to kind of mix and blend this together so it looks more the same. If you want to even mix some orange or some brown and yellow together for your lion, you could do that. I'm going to leave the nose part in between the nose white and the bottom by the mouth white. I might paint the eyes of my lion a little darker. I could maybe even think about painting the inside of the ears a little different. Maybe it's more yellow. I'm being very careful. I see I have a lot of paint right there. I want to be careful so it doesn't run or move into my other parts of my lion. So your job today is to paint the head, the eyes, the body, and the tail of your lion to make it look real. Remember, you can mix a little bit if you want more of a yellow with your brown or if you want a little orange in your brown. I'm making these eyes just a little bit darker. So I'm going to continue painting. When you're done painting, they'll have to go in the drying rack so that we can put all of the parts of our lion together next time when it's dry.